Southern Pine Beetle. With the Southern Pine Beetle, a 1 8 inch long brown to black insect, the female attacks the stressed tree first. Once she successfully attacks the tree, she releases a pheromone called frontalin to inform other southern pine beetles, both male and female, to continue the attack. The first few beetles are killed by the pine's resin flow. These beetles are pitched out along with the resin through the boring holes. As a result, nickel-sized whitish pitch tubes are produced in the bark crevices along the trunk of the tree. If the pine is unhealthy or stressed, it would not be able to continue defending the attack. Eventually, more and more southern pine beetles will attack the tree, building up its population until approximately 2,000 beetles are infested in the weakened pine. This population level is dictated by environmental factors and a nine-year cycle. If the conditions are favorable, this beetle can produce six to eight generations a year. The galleries created by adult beetles and the white legless larva contribute to the decline of the tree, but the blue stain fungus eventually causes the actual mortality. The fungus is introduced into the tree from the adult beetle. The southern pine beetle carries this blue stain fungus on its body and spreads it into the sapwood as it creates the S-shaped egg galleries. The fungus enhances the nutrient availability to the larva as they tunnel distinctive feeding lines. This fungus, however, clogs the vascular system of the tree. Moisture is significantly reduced, causing the tree to desiccate. An indication of a blue stain fungus infection is the presence of bluish-black streaks in the sapwood that are right underneath the bark. Another tree symptom that will indicate an infestation is the discoloration of the foliage. Pine needles will follow this color sequence during the entire attack period, from green to yellow to red to brown. After noticeable tree symptoms, the pine succumbs, generally four to eight weeks after the initial attack. Once the pine tree is on the verge of dying, the male southern pine beetle releases a pheromone called verbenone to inform other beetles to halt the attack. By now, the southern pine beetle's population has increased drastically, killing this particular host tree. The beetles now move to the next pine, generally the ones that are in close proximity to the infested one. Because this beetle species is aggressive, it will attack neighboring trees even if they're fairly healthy. There are some control options in place for southern pine beetles. The most common control procedure is to salvage infested pines and harvest a buffer of healthy ones. These cut trees can be utilized, piled, or burned to prevent the spread of the beetle. For infested pines in a residential or commercial area, Insecticides such as Dragnet or Onyx can also be used. Insecticides work better as a preventative method as opposed to a control method. It can be applied to unaffected pine trees that are in close proximity to infested ones. The use of insecticides, however, is not practical for pines in a forest setting. With any control method that is selected, the main success for preventing the spread is to react quickly. Prolonging the control management activity will only allow the beetle to continue spreading, killing more and more pines. Nature can play a huge role in controlling the southern pine beetles as well. There are several predators, such as the clarid beetle, that prey on southern pine beetles. Extreme temperatures, such as continuous temperatures above 100 or below 30 degrees Fahrenheit, can drastically reduce beetle activity.